Alright, good morning guys. We are back for another vlog style video. So it is, what day is it? Tuesday morning. We are 10 days out from the Nationals? 9 or 10 days out? Something like that, anyway. We're back for another video taking you through everything that I am doing getting ready for Nationals. So today's a training day, we'll go through nutrition, we'll go through everything that I'm doing today. Training and everything as well. Oh, it's just gone 4 a.m. We've got a PT at 7, so we've got a, got a few hours to get this stuff done. So morning routine, we've got 45 minutes on the stairs, we'll go through abs, we'll hit anywhere from three to five sets of the two exercises I've been running, which are the cable crunch and the hanging leg raise. So three to five sets of that for 15 to 20 reps of each. Then we'll move into glutes, which will be anywhere from two to four exercises for anywhere from 15 to 30 reps of each. Just getting a good squeeze, trying to etch some detail into my glutes. And then we'll finish off the morning block of cardio, the morning gym session with a incline walk, which will probably be anywhere 30 to 45 minutes to get some steps in and the incline to put a little bit more strain into the glutes and hamstrings as well. If you're, uh, if you're playing along, glutes and hamstrings are where we need to get some more detail into, so that's what we're working on all the way through from ICN States, all the way through to Nationals. So we're digging hard at the moment and my brain function is not great. Yeah, we're going to get inside, get all of this stuff done and I'll see you guys when, once I'm finished and on my way to work. So I'll see you guys there. All right, that is the morning block of cardio done. So 45 minutes on the stairs, we ended up doing two sets of abs, but we did 50 reps per set. So 200 reps total, 100 reps cable crunch, 100 reps of hanging leg raise, so two sets of 50 of each. And then we did two sets of glutes with two exercises. We did kickbacks and abductors. 25 reps per leg on the kickback, two sets, and two sets of 50 reps abductor. Just nice and light, getting relatively light, getting a really good squeeze on every single rep, make sure that I contract the muscle hard and we're etching details in. Uh, then we finished off the morning block with 35 minutes of incline walking on the treadmill. So knocked out just under 6,000 steps there. You head home, get changed, and head off to work. So next time I see you guys will be when I'm out doing my morning steps. All right, guys, we are back. The morning work is done. Had a PT, done a little bit of computer work, and now we're out getting steps done. Ideally, we'll get majority of the remaining steps I have to do today. So the goal is 15,000 steps per day at the moment. So hopefully I'll knock that off so I don't have anything to do after training today. So once I've done these 15,000 steps, I'll go home, get ready for training, have my first meal, and then it will be uh, have a sauna, and that's pretty much everything I need to do today. And then I've just got a massage at 2.30 and that'll be the day done. With the sleep schedule the way it is, waking up at 3 a.m. every day, I'm trying to get everything done before midday ideally so that I'm not as fatigued. There's, I mean, at this point there's no, there's no beating the fatigue. Just gotta do it when I've got more energy even though energy is low throughout the whole day. We get shit done when when we feel like doing it most, which is early in the day. That's the way we set the day up at the moment. So as I said, we've done the stairs, the abs, the glutes, incline walk, so first, por first portion of steps, finish work. Now we're finishing the rest of the steps off. Then we'll train after we've eaten. 
and then we just get to relax for the rest of the day. I'm gonna finish these steps off and I'll see you guys at mill number one. We've uh, pretty much ticked off everything that we need to do. Just got training and sauna and posing and do a couple of rounds of posing more than likely. Training, sauna, posing and massage. That's pretty much all we got left for the day other than eating and relaxing. So, meal number one. The staple of peak week, even though it's not peak week, we've got cinnamon bun creamy rice. So we've got 77 grams of that, 200 grams raw white chicken breast, shredded of course. And then we've got 24 grams of chocolate almond butter by Good Society Food Co. 14 grams of natural almond butter. And we've also got coffee number four for the day going down because I'm absolutely exhausted and I need as much artificial energy as I can possibly take in. So yeah, we've got coffee number four going down before midday. I'm gonna smash this meal down and get off to the gym and get the rest of the activities done that I need to do for the day. Next time I see you, I'll be training shoulders and triceps with Tom behind the camera. Honestly felt like absolute garbage today but we got it done just in the sauna now finishing things off. This is the last thing I've got to do today other than get a massage so once we're done in here that's it for the day and we can put the feet up and relax for the for the rest of the afternoon and get the food in. We're gonna sit in here get a good sweat on, read the book, currently reading Champion Minded by Alistair McCaw. I think I may have shown you that one in my last video as well. I was just starting and I'm about halfway through it now. Very good read. I like reading these um, mindset books to, you know, kind of just reinforce the habits that I already do. I also just give myself uh, an idea of where, what, what other areas in my in my mindset that I can work on to make sure I'm getting the most out of everything that I'm doing. So I mean, there's definitely gonna be some takeaways from this book that I'm gonna implement going forward. One particularly being journaling and that sort of thing. I think that's gonna be really beneficial for me moving forward. Just have a bit of a, bit of a mind dump which is almost what I'm doing on these videos. So, um, but I mean, it's always been easy for me to write things and it has been for me to actually vocalize things. So I think journaling is gonna be really helpful for me moving forward. Anyway, we're gonna, yeah, just get on with this sauna now. I'm going to uh, probably chuck some Netflix on my phone in between times that I'm reading. And yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm back home for meal number two. All right, we are back and it's time for meal number two quite a bit of volume here in this one white fish 300 grams of pumpkin we've got 300 grams of zucchini underneath all of that we've got full packet of konjac fiber noodles uh we've got 150 grams of mushrooms and 35 grams of uh, jalapenos on top very tasty I'm gonna get stuck into this and then I gotta get off for my massage. So I'll see you guys back for meal number three. Back from the massage and it's time for the next meal. I've completely messed my meal timing up today. So we've got two meals rolled into one here. Luckily we've got two fish meals for the rest of the day. So we had two fish meals and a chicken meal left for the day. So we've rolled the two fish meals into one. So, we've got prawns, some white fish, asparagus, pumpkin, mushroom. So we've got 
300 grams of mushroom, 400 grams of asparagus, 200 grams of pumpkin, about 260 prawns, and 100 grams of white fish. Topped off with a bit of Frank's Red Hot and some salt. This looks delicious to me and smells incredible. So I'm going to get stuck into this meal. I'll see you guys at the final meal of the day in a couple of hours. All right, guys, we are back and it's time for the final meal of the day. It's nearly 7.30, so I've been up for way too many hours at this point. I'm going to take this meal down and basically get to sleep. Um, so last meal of the day, we've got chicken, salad, spud light. 200 grams raw weight chicken. 300 grams of spud light potato, which we've put in the microwave and steamed, basically to maintain that volume. And then we've got 150 grams of lettuce, 100 grams of cucumber, 50 grams of celery, and 50 grams of cherry tomatoes. Yeah, that'll be a wrap on today. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's a day in my life at the moment with we're 11 days out. I said 9 or 10 this morning, it's 11. So we're 11 days out from nationals, so this is the routine that we've got on a daily basis at the moment. We're just riding this all the way through till coach says otherwise. So we're just chipping away, do everything we possibly can do to bring tighter, leaner, sharper package to the ICN national stage. The goal is a pro card, so... That's what, that's what we're going for. That's what we're working for. It's not easy work, but we're doing everything that we possibly can do to be the best come October 21st. I'm going to wrap up the video here, guys. Get into this meal. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. If you did, subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Share the video. Leave a comment. Do all that good YouTube shit. And I'll see you guys in the next one.